right, I think everything's loading in. So let me go in form its mode. And uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be here a while. We're gonna be here a while. <laughs> but we're back with more Scarlet Hollow. I love this game. Um, it was one of those unexpected games that you, you don't know if you're going to like it or not, especially if you're not a horror fan. I'm not particularly a horror fan, but this one's more suspense to me than, than uh, jump scares and things that have become horror recently, so I really do enjoy this game. And uh, there's one trait we haven't used yet, which was Booksmart, so definitely going to use Booksmart. And then we ran a Twitter poll from yesterday evening until this morning, and uh, that got mystical, so this one is going to be Booksmart and mystical. We're gonna see if we can get through all three episodes. I'm hoping that we can. Usually we do one episode per Scarlet Hollow stream, but I have today off. I got nothing else to do, so we're, we're gonna try and do as much as we can, and of course we're playing Scarlet Hollow, so I have to wear my Scarlet Hollow shirt. Um, I want to yeah. I want to yeah. So we're, <laughs> we're ready to go. We're ready to go. And we'll get right into it. We'll get right into it. If anybody over in chat can tell me about uh, sound balance, I'm happy to hear it. I'm happy to take that advice. Um, so let's let's give ourselves a name, huh? <laughs> Usually we go with Hap or Happy. Um, I think because we're going to be booked smart, we're going to take the other the other half of my name here and just use tact. <laughs> we're tact. We live in the city of Happy. And uh, yeah, she, her, confirm. And then there's there's no choice to be made this go around because we already made that choice. We have to be well-read and rational, possess a wealth of esoteric knowledge and know when to use it, and be a talented researcher. And then uh, the other one that we got, <laughs> we got voted on was to do mystical, which means I'm gonna hear a lot of spooky things I'd rather not hear. Um, strange and unusual. See the threads of reality in ways others cannot. Thank you, Tyler, for the hydration reminder. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Got my 64 fluid ounces of water right here, and then I got a Gatorade just in case. Um, we need to do some more hydration. It's going to be a lot of talking, a lot of reading. Um, but yeah, we're going to go with Booksmart and Mystical. Those are our two, our two options here. So... Once again, we jolt awake on the bus as it hits a particularly nasty bump. I feel like I only just managed to start drifting off, and now here I am awake again and still exhausted. For a moment, I'm hazy on the details of where exactly here is, confusing this bus with the many others that came before it. But as my mind continues to reassert its existence in the waking world, the past few days come back into focus. The long-lost cousin, the bad news, the 26 hours of bus rides with countless late-night stops and CD depots that felt unsafe even in the middle of the day. You wouldn't normally find yourself traveling like this, but your cousin bought the tickets. The funeral of Pearl and Scarlet, your cousin's mother and your aunt, seemed like something you shouldn't ignore, even considering your own late mother's rocky relationship with this side of the family. And of course, we get the little mystical tidbit here, but it was also more than just the social pressure of the invitation that pushed you to accept it. The threads of fate have been tugging you back to this place your entire life. There was no choice to be made. It was simple destiny. So when your cousin called you, you knew what had to be done. And now, the end of your long journey is in sight. You're almost in Scarlet Hollow. So anyway, as I was saying, I want to, yeah. The uh, the one character that I think has merch right now, and it's this guy. I want to, yeah. I want to, yeah. I want to, yeah. We're good. Oh no, he's still here. He's been sitting next to you for the past five hours, talking at you without pause. You're not sure he even stopped when you started to doze off. At first you thought he was just being friendly, but that was several hours of one-sided conversation ago. I was up in Maryland looking for work, but mostly messing around because I was a dumb teen. Me and my buddies were doing our usual prank stuff, you know, pushing joggers into the harbor, that sort of thing. <laughs> huh. 
are you talking to me? Why wouldn't I talk to you? We're on a bus. Buses are one of the best places to meet new people, hands down. And you're the only person left to meet. So, this girl comes up to us, swinging her purse, yelling about how she's gonna call the cops or whatever. It was hilarious. She actually hit my friend and said it- he said it hurt a lot, so I guess she really was mad and not just playing. But she kept swinging and soon enough she lost her balance and fell into the harbor all on her own. We didn't even have to push her. We had a good laugh and fished her out and her phone got soaked so she couldn't call the cops on us. We wound out- uh. Let's threaten him. I kind of feel like killing someone right now. I don't like horrible people walk 